I am replacing our RV window right now. I hit it with a rock from the lawnmower and I was kind of stressing about it because I didn't know if we were gonna be able to get this new window. Hopefully we still can. Uh, it is a H-E-H-R hair, I believe. I'll show you. It's that brand, I looked up their website and they said they have a, a replacement window form so you can give them all that or they said you can just take it out and get the serial numbers so on and so forth and then that will go so as all i had to do in this particular one is unscrew this frame from the window there's screws that go in right there and then take that off we'll go outside real fast and there it is those are the numbers that we need it's just on the top of the window i'm going to leave this down here get some cardboard tape this up and see about getting in order i don't ever slow up no i don't take shit i got no love for the fakeness if you want to play tough and want to hate this i'll always show up Never slow up. So I got this window ordered based off the serial number, called them, uh, gave them a card over the phone, and it has been almost two months since we ordered it. Got here a couple days ago. It was like, a, it was a really long time. So if you guys are in a pinch, I don't know uh, what the best way to go about it is. And look how this thing is packaged, just full of great stuff. So we're probably just gonna have to rip it. Once you get your window, and you cut it out. I wouldn't suggest ripping it apart like I did. Just cut the plastic, peel back the foam, and then get your window glass. There we go. I'm not sure what the best way is to get the old window out and clean that up. But, looks like this is going to peel right out. Doesn't even look like it's glued, it's just pressed in there, which is ideal because that'll make it reusable. This stuff's glued here. You just don't want to do this somewhere where you can sweep up the glass, obviously. So it looks like this piece right here is pop riveted in. So we aren't gonna deal with that. We're just gonna scrape it out really best we can. I don't think it's glued. I think it's just uh, pressed in there. I was having a hard time getting all these broken pieces out on this bottom piece. We don't wanna take these rivets out. I am able to pull this rubber seal out. I wanna be careful with it. And like I said, I don't think that the glass is glued in here, which is, we don't want it to be, that's good. But it was like behind this seal and we have to get all the little pieces out or it's gonna be a real pain getting that new one to slide in. Just be careful not to rip this. And you can see I kind of marred it up, get it, trying to get it out without taking this piece off. I tried to take this bottom piece out too, and that's not gonna happen. But in theory, yeah, look at that. That, you definitely have to take that rubber piece out. That helped so much. You just use a razor blade and get all that residue off. Okay, so we got this trough cleaned out really nice. There's no chunks of glass in there that are going to get in the way of the new piece. Good. So this bottom piece of rubber, the difficult one, is uh, pretty important because the rain's gonna run down this way. So that's why it's so tight. And it has proved to be difficult. Tried it multiple ways, but I think the best way to go about it so far is 
putting it slightly in as you slide the glass down and then if we can push it down. Okay, so now that's working. Using some pliers here, the handle of them, pushing that in. So now that we pretty much got this hard part finished up as far as installing the rubber pieces back, this bottom one's going to be your most difficult. And now we just have to clip this one in. These pliers, or any plier handle, is proving to be a benefit just to be able to push this rubber piece back in. The top of it was a little bit more difficult because there wasn't as much room, but you just gotta find, you'll get it as you go. Push back in. Rounding the last corner and coming down the home stretch. There we go, so we did not put that foam tape in there, I would say. It, it's recommended, but I don't think there's gonna be an issue with leakage with how tight these rubber pieces are. Um, if you guys have used it or not used it in the past window repair, um, feel free to comment that down in the, in the comments just to help people in the future. Now we just have to put it back in the RV and fit the wheel. Remember that goes in from the outside and this water seal or weather tape seems like it's in pretty good shape so we're gonna stick with that you could replace it though and then you didn't want somebody to hold it so now we have one screw in so now Charlie can come in here and we'll put the rest of them in so now you're going to take your cup of screws that you saved from two months ago when you took the window out. It's just a matter of putting those in now. Okay, you're good. Keep in mind this is like a aluminum, so it has a little bit of flex to it, so you want to Keep some of the first screws kind of loose so that it has a little bit of flex in it so you can line up all the holes. Uh, like this one down here is a little bit of a pain. But you might be able to take some like, uh, if you ding it up, some Sharpie or something like that. But overall, um, the replacement went smoother than I thought. We didn't have to get any new weather stripping or even anything like that. So it's something you definitely could do by yourself. Just the biggest issue with it is how long the window takes to get there the last step is to put on your blinds pretty straightforward there we go blinds are back on thanks for watching